Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to discuss with, uh, with you how to represent a graph in computer. I am going to discuss with you the most popular two methods for representing a graph in computer. Okay, the two methods are first one is adjacency matrix and second one is adjacency list. First one is this matrix and second one is adjacency list. These are the most popular two methods. Okay. Although we have uh, more method that is I guess multi list is also there. But I am going to discuss with you these two methods adjacency matrix and adjacency list. Now how to represent a graph in computer. See this is the pictorial view you can easily draw a graph on this whiteboard like this. But when you are going to represent a graph in computer then you have to use something. Okay. You have to use some methods to represent this graph in computer. So these are two methods the one is matrix and one is list. First one is I am going to discuss with you this this method adjacency matrix. So matrix is simply uh, in mathematics you know matrix is what m cross n where m is number of rows and n is number of columns something like this number of rows and number of columns. So in this case let us take this example this one is our graph and you are supposed to represent this graph using this adjacency matrix then how you will represent it this adjacency matrix would be n cross n matrix and where n is what number of vertices in the graph okay now how you will represent it this one is our matrix this should be n cross n matrix where n is what number of vertices how many number of vertices 1 2 3 4 5 then 1 2 3 4 5 number of rows would be there and 5 number of columns would be there this one should be 5 cross 5 matrix now we are supposed to fill out these entries now see 1 to 1 is there any loop is there any loop in this graph loop means the edge would start from the same node and would add end on the same node like this. This would be a loop. If you have, uh, see check out, you have any loop in this graph? No, you don't have any loop. That's why the diagonal elements would be 0. 3 to, to 3, 4 to 4, there is no edge and 5 to 5, no edge. Okay. Now check out, 1 to 2, 1 to 2. Obviously, it is undirected graph. Okay, so this edge would be considered as one to two also and two to one also. Okay, one to two. Yes, we have edge between one to two. Then you can write down one. One to three. No, we don't have any edge. Direct edge between one to three. That why that's why it is zero. One to four. Yes, we have one to four. We have an edge. One to five. No, we don't have. Now two to one. 2 to 1 yes we have because this edge is what undirected edge so this is also considered from 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 fine 2 to 3 2 to 3 yes we have 2 to 4 yes we have 2 to 5 no we don't have any direct or any uh, edge between 2 to 5 3 to 1 you have 3 to 1 no we don't have 3 to 2 yes we have 3 to 2 see this one 3 to 3 no 3 to 4 Yes, we have 3 to 5. Yes. Now, 4 to 1. Yes. 4 to 2. Yes, this one. 4 to 3. Yes. 4 to 5. Yes. 5 to 1. No. 5 to 2. No. 5 to 3. Yes, we have. And 5 to 4. Yes, we have. Fine. So, you can simply write down like this. Okay, now you can simply write down the definition of this uh, adjacency matrix is what? It is a matrix, you can say A, N cross N, we are representing the matrix with A, N, N, where N is the number of vertices, N would be the number of rows and N would be the number of columns. And how you will fill these entries? A of I, J, this one is J, is equal to 1 if I and J are adjacent. Okay, see. Suppose this one is i and this one is j. Let us take this one is i. We are taking and 
this one is j. So, you will write down a of i j 1 if i and j are adjacent 1 and 2 are adjacent to each other that is why we are taking 1 to 2 is 1 a of i j that is a of i 1 and j is suppose 2 this one is 1 and i 2 and j is equal to 1 this one is also 1 ok. Otherwise, we, will, we would write here 0 fine. Now, next we will discuss what is adjacency list. See, now this would be uh, uh, as the name suggests we will have uh, we are going to have link list fine and how many link list would be there for each vertex one link list would be maintained like this. In this case, we are having how many vertices? 5, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number of vertices are there. Fine. For each vertex, one link list would be there, and that link list will have, will contain the adjacent node to this node. Fine. Like this. Now, suppose uh, we uh, first one is what is number of node is 1. How many adjacent node are there to 1? 1 is 2 and 1 is 4. Then one link list would be maintained containing 2 and 4. Now, come to the second node, this one, second. How many adjacent node are there? 1, 3 and 4. This would be 1. 3 and 4. Now, for 3 also one link list would be there and it would contain how many number of adjacent node are there to 3? 1 is 2, 1 is 4 and 1 is 5. 1 is 2, 1 is 4 and 1 is 5. For 4 also we have 1. Now, we have what? 2. We have what? 3 and 5. See 1, 2, 3 and 5. And for 5 we have what? 3 and 4 only. 3 and this one is 4. How many link list would be maintained? 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. How many number of vertices? 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 and 5. The number of vertices, total number of vertices in the graph, utni hi aapko maintain karni hai number of link list for each node. Fine. Now, this is the adjacency list using this list you can represent this graph and this is how you can represent this graph using adjacency matrix. Now, when uh, you are supposed to calculate the time complexity. Now, when you represent a graph using this method adjacency matrix then what would be the time complexity or you, uh, sorry you can say the space complexity. Uh, space complexity would be theta n square in this case fine because met, uh, this is matrix n number of rows and n number of columns. So, space complexity is what n square here it is the see 5 into 5 matrix 5 square 5 is what number of vertices that is n where n is what number of vertices and for representing a graph using this uh, uh, adjacency list the space complexity would be theta n plus 2 e. See n 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 these are number of what uh, vertices. Why we have written this plus 2 e? Because the one, yaha pe dekho, see this one is one edge from 1 to 2 fine. But you have written this edge two times in this list, two times when from 1 to 2, one edge you have written and from 2 to 1 also, from 2 to 1 also. So, 2 times we have written this edge in this list. Same you can say with, uh, you can say take 1, 2, 4. This one is one edge, but you have written this 2 times. 1 to 4, fine, because 
uh, 4 is adjacent to 1. So, we have written in this linked list also plus 4 to 1 also 4 to 1 like this. So, every edge has been written 2 times that is why we have written here n plus 2 e the space complexity is this one for adjacency uh, list and this one is theta n square for adjacency when you represent this graph any graph using adjacency matrix. So, see it would be better to use this adjacency matrix to represent a graph when the graph is dense graph. Sometimes they can ask you this type of question. In case of dense graph, it is better to use adjacency matrix to represent that graph and when the graph is sparse, sparse graph then it would be better to use this what adjacency list because see when a dense graph means almost or you can say each node is connected with each other node. You can say you can uh, take example of a complete graph like this. Suppose we have 4 nodes and every node is connected with every node and 5 nodes and every node is connected with every other node like this. Then in that case it is better to use this matrix ok. And when uh, something like this one a very uh, few number of edges are there between uh, these vertices then better to use this adjacency list and this is the space complexity for representing these graph ok. So, that is uh, all about you know some you can say the basics of how to represent a graph in computer these are the most popular methods I am not saying that these are the only two methods to represent the graph but I am just I have just discussed the most popular methods to represent this graph ok. So, I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.